Okay, guys and girls, we are back here at Twin Eagle Ranch from the Dolisi Rock the Block Party in Oklahoma City. And we had a blast up there. We had a big crowd up there today. We had lots of big giant trucks and a big OG and E truck and all and, and they had an old Delisi cement truck there from like 1924, 1940 or something. I don't know, way, way back there. And uh, uh, just a, an amazing crowd showed up today at times. And I'm going to show you a little video here in a minute, just a couple, two or three minute video is all I took. Uh, we had so many people around there. I didn't have time to shoot any video while I was there, but I just took a few minutes and shot videos a couple times of all the kids in the boats. At times I had 20 and 25 kids up in my boat, pretending they were driving that Ranger boat down the butt lake at 70 or 80 miles an hour. And they were just having a big time. And, and uh, some of them get the rod and reel holding the rod and reel in their hand and talking about fishing and it was just absolutely fantastic and so i shot just a little video a couple two or three minutes just to share with you and show you what went on at the delisi rock the block party i think this is the fourth year that they've done that the other three years they had it in downtown oklahoma city down there by the bass pro shop and they had good crowds down there because there's always a lot of people in downtown oklahoma city i mean it's a great downtown area uh, they're on the, the the Oklahoma River and and all the the you know boat races and stuff and all, all kinds of things they have there and all the rowing competition national international rowing competition Bass Pro Shop right there in downtown Oklahoma City Toby Keith's restaurant right there the Thunder Coliseum where the Thunder play and um, but uh, so but they had it at Delisi's brand new headquarters and it was just it's sensational they had the biggest crowd they ever had they were kind of concerned about having a crowd but I want to personally thank so many of you for showing up that to social media. Uh, so many people from our YouTube channels, our Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing, uh, Catch a Better uh, Life channel, and of course, uh, J Jimmy and Chris Houston's Twin Eagle Ranch. Uh, Y'all showed up. So many of you asked about Chris. So many of you told me that you were praying for her, and I appreciate that so very much. And you know, here we are almost 18 months later from the time that Chris was laying up there fighting for her life and a doctor telling me that she'd never leave that hospital. Most likely, he didn't say she would never leave it, said she probably would never leave that hospital alive. That's 18 months ago now, the fifth of this month, three or four days from now. Uh, it's going to be 18 months, a year and a half. And uh, she's still not fully recovered by any stretch of imagination, but God has done miracles in her life. And uh, she just, she's just doing so well. She's feeding the baby deer. Still can't use her right arm, so she can't fish, except she, the little one of my expandable, uh, Jimmy Houston expandable cane poles or, or expandable coals. It's not cane. It's actually made out of fiberglass. But they're great, you know, great, great uh, extendable poles. I mean, they're just 10, 12, 14, 15 foot, and they're just absolutely fantastic. She can fish with those and has been and catching a few fish with that, but... Those of you that come up there and ask about her, thank you so much. Thank you for coming up and visiting with me today. I just want to personally thank you for that. And uh, and like I said, I want to run a couple, bit, two or three minute video here just to show you what went on at the Rock, Block, the Rock the Block party because they're already planning next year's party. And uh, they had free hot dogs out there and uh, they, they had wanted people to bring canned goods. So they got a lot of canned goods. Uh, to help the um, uh, the pantry up there in Oklahoma City, the regional food bank that uh, is being able, we're going to be able to give uh, food to people. So that was absolutely fantastic. And we just had a great time. I thank Shell Rotella for allowing me to go up there and be there at that today. It's always great to do something for Shell right here in my home state of Oklahoma. And uh, we get to do some stuff up here for, uh, in Oklahoma for Shell, and, and we, we do it all over the nation. But it's always great to do something right here in Oklahoma. And we got, we got the, the hometown folks around. And so many of you come up there today, and I appreciate that. Uh, we're going to be in Edmond uh, a little bit later this month. Uh, at uh, I think we're, it's, it's in Edmond at a Baptist church. And I'll be talking about that here in the next day or two. Probably talking about it on, on the Sunday afternoon chat. But uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, those of you that come, those of you that did not get to come up here to Oklahoma City today, you missed it. Right here is what went on. And remember, guys and girls, I sure do love you. Hey, guys and girls, this is what Rock the Block Party is all about right here. Having a lot of fun. If you look off down through there, you'll see a big bunch of big trucks that way. If you look this way, you see another big bunch of big trucks. The Lisi headquarters right here in Oklahoma City. And if you look at the boat, how many... How many young'uns are you allowed in a bass boat at one time? And keep in mind that that one is driving 72 miles an hour right now with all of them up there walking around. That is that is what I call rocking the block right there. Rock the block party at Delisi right here in Oklahoma City. That is it. That is it right there. We that I'm telling you what, if you caught that many bass, you might be Roland Martin. <laughs> Woo! 
Okay, we are a couple hours in to rock the block, and we are rocking the block. There's absolutely no doubt about that. I want you to just take a look. I'm just going to walk around here just a second and just to take a look at what we've got here. I need one or two of those big trucks like that big green one on my ranch. You talk about a bow hunting blind, we camo that booger up and uh, get up there in that bucket about 40 feet up in the air. And no deer would know that we were anywhere close around. <laughs> ah, wave it at us there. You look off down that way, we've got trucks. You can hear the horns blasting. Everybody's been asking me, where is my horn on my Shell Rotella boat? And I've got one on there, but it's kind of wimpy compared to the horns we got going out here. And uh, but I got my I got my power off on my Ranger boat because you can see we've had 15 or 20 kids at a time in there, all around that, that tracker boat. I mean that uh, Ranger boat, and uh, just absolutely having a ball. Uh, there's a lot of kids that have gone 100 miles an hour in that Ranger boat. They've gone faster than I've gone for sure, 100 miles an hour. Because I've asked them and they've told me I'm going 100 miles an hour. And believe you me, they believe that they're going 100 miles an hour. So we're having a blast out here. Look at that. You talk about a deer stand? That's a 50-yard shot just to hit the ground. I'm not sure I could hit one from up there. Now, that's a machine, isn't it? That is a machine. We're having a great time out here. All of everything that's raised out here, they got hot dogs and stuff over there, donate to the United Way. And Hey, how you doing? Man, good I, now. How's it going? Good now. I want some secrets. Why do you need some secrets? On all the bass fishing that you do. I'm going to give you a secret. What's that? Go early, stay late. Uh, did, you hear that? did you hear what he said? Go early. Can you catch a fish? Have you ever caught a bass? You want me to show you pictures? Have you ever kissed a bass? He, I kiss them. I kiss them. I kiss only the girl bass, though. That's the only ones I kiss. That's right.